The meeting with the president was to simply acquaint him with the urgency of the flood fight and the threat in North Dakota. We talked about uh, the threat to Bismarck. We talked about the Red River Valley. We talked about flooding in other parts of the state as well. But uh, we described to him the urgency, the weather pattern that exists in our state today. Uh, the president said, most importantly, we're not alone. That the, the federal agencies, the federal government, his administration will be there to help fight the flood, and they're there now, and will be there afterwards as well to try to help North Dakota recover. We, of course, hope that uh, you know the protection of uh, property and people is something that uh, will bear real fruit and that we will not see the kind of circumstance we've seen in some years past. But uh, whatever the consequences of this flood, the president said uh, his administration is going to be there with all of the opportunities and the help that the federal government can offer. And the president indicated to us that he's going to stand shoulder to shoulder with us, not only in the flood fight, but in the aftermath and all of the things that will come later. Uh, it, was, it was really inspirational to see his concern about what's happening in our state. As North Dakota faces its hour of challenge, we felt it was very important that we personally update the president about the status of events along the Red River, as well as unfolding in Bismarck and the other areas of impact we've had in North Dakota. The president expressed his concern, expressed his absolute commitment to help, and that's very good news. In addition, the senators uh, calling this information to Senate leadership. I've spoken to the Speaker of the House, and we are basically setting the stage for a long relief effort to follow. Right now, however, we know that it's the front line in North Dakota that's going to determine how we fare through these challenges. And our hearts and prayers go out to each and every North Dakotan uh, doing their very best to help one another through this time. First, I want to say we had a chance to meet with the President, uh, the delegation from North Dakota, as well as Senator Klobuchar and Congressman Peterson from Minnesota about the very serious flooding that's going on in our area. My state is faced with disastrous flooding all across the state. My hometown, the capital city, is now faced with what the mayor has described as the worst threat to our city in its entire history. Uh, so this is a very, very serious time for the people I represent not only a major flood threat to Bismarck, North Dakota, the capital city, with evacuations already occurring in the midst of a blizzard, but also in eastern North Dakota, where we fa face a projected crest at record levels. So my thoughts and prayers are, first of all, with the people that I represent and my family uh, back home in North Dakota. As I said, I I'm going to, to, um, to travel uh, to both the Red River Valley and over to Bismarck, but uh, I wanted my colleagues to understand uh, the circumstances. Again, to put the, the first uh, chart back up, you'll see that today's uh, NOAA estimate of our country shows that our entire state is under a flood threat. It's been an extraordinary winter, and even as we have this flood threat, there is, has been a raging blizzard blowing through our state, shutting down the interstate highways, and dropping, in some cases, as much as 18 inches of snow. So it's been a tough time, but uh, North Dakotans are a pretty resilient people, and uh, we'll get through this. But I wanted my colleagues to understand the circumstances and why we asked to meet with the President today.